Hello everyone, my name is The Ultimate Spy, and welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's The Beginnings. So this is a fan game that was suggested to me, and honestly, it looked pretty cool. It's pretty recent, it came out about a week ago, a little more than a week ago actually, and it looked honestly great. Uh, the screenshots look really cool, kind of like uh, taking the FNAF 1 location and kind of adding to it a little bit with the FNAF 2 onward and animatronic, which is pretty cool because menu screen right here, this is my favorite animatronic of all time, Freddy Fazbear. I'm with Freddy, Freddy Fazbear. Although one thing I noticed in one of the screenshots is Fredbear. So this developer decided that Fredbear looks like a recolored FNAF 1 Freddy, which is not what Fredbear is. Fredbear is big, big teeth. The original Fredbear didn't have eyebrows, although in running in the ADC he had eyebrows. So that's a pretty cool addition, and I kind of like that one version better. But still, that isn't Fredbear. <laughs> you can call it Fredbear, but it isn't Fredbear. That's one, one of the things I hate about about uh, about playing games like this. People decide that Fredbear is is that it's not Fredbear. But anyway, I don't know really sure what to expect from this game. One of the screenshots looked like it was some kind of post line thing. I don't know exactly what to expect, but I'm really excited about playing this because it looked cool and it has the weather. Those are my favorite games. So <laughs> let's go ahead to new game and see what we're in for. All right. Help on a Freddy Fire's Pizza. Welcome to restaurant looking for security guys to work the night shift from 12 to 6 a.m. cameras. Basically, the, the, the typical fan game thing that you expect. Okay, let's do it. I'm really excited for this. It looked pretty cool. All right. Oh my god. Wow. This is just like Ben F1. Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, I suppose you're the new security guard? Well, if you are, then welcome aboard. I'm going to be leaving a message for you to help you get settled in on your new job and what to expect. Um, I'm actually finishing up my night shift this week and I'll be switched over to the day shift. So I guess you applied at the right time. <laughs> you don't have any idea how much trouble these past few weeks has been for the company. Ever since those five kids went missing around here the other week, we don't know whatever happened to them, and we're currently under an investigation. The parents are suspecting us for some reason, and I don't know why, as we do have a policy that clearly says Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovery of damage, or if death has occurred, a missing persons report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpet yep. has been replaced, and all that other stuff. Okay, I'm going on too much about the current state and policies. Let's get back on track. Anyways, as you probably know already, you'll be monitoring the building from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. to ensure yeah. the safety of all property and equipment, as well as keeping an eye on the animatronic characters. What I mean by that is, for some reason, the characters tend to roam freely after hours. We don't know what's yep. causing this glitch, but the engineers say that it's sometimes the result of them being turned off for too long, as they are programmed to roam around freely during the day, which I think is a technical achievement in today's robotics. Anyways, make sure that they don't get too close to your office, because if they see you, they might mistake you for an endoskeleton without yep. its costume on, and will try to stuff you into one. Now you're probably asking, how could be stuffed into a costume be bad? Well, you see, those costumes aren't like mascot walk arounds and instead are the ones that the animatronics wear. And they are filled with eternal structures and devices. So being shoved into all of that would not only be extremely painful, but would instantly kill you. That's yep. why you have doors by your vents. Shut them if anything is in there, and only if absolutely necessary. Using the doors, lights, and cameras drain power, and using them too much will start the entire building to go dark, leaving you vulnerable to the animatronics. So don't leave right. the doors shut. If an animatronic does somehow end up in your office, I have a small trick for that, which is hiding under the desk. Hey. This will fool them into thinking that you're not in the office and will eventually leave. But be quick about it. You may only have a few seconds to react. It might also not work with certain animatronics, so keeping them away is recommended. It is also important for you to use your vent lights. There are blind spots in the camera views, so if you can't find someone on your cameras, be sure to check the lights, okay? Okay, that should be everything now. And before I go, I am required to greet you with the company's label. <clears throat> 
Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids <laughs> and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Good night, good luck, and I'll chat with you tomorrow. All right, well, I like it. <laughs> this game is great. I like it a lot. Cameras are great. Everything is great. This is really cool. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. So the, one of the first things I noticed. Oh hello. When looking at a. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. When looking at this stage, this is what their Fredbear looks like. That is not Fredbear. I'm sorry, but that is not Fredbear. That is a fan Fredbear. Oh, I, yeah, no. Sorry, but that is not... That's just taking Freddy from FNAF 1 and just repainting him with, you know, a purple hat and bow tie. That isn't the same thing. I'm sorry, but that doesn't count. I like that. I don't know what The map is really cool. But that is not Fredbear. I'm sorry. I don't like that so far. You're getting closer. Actually, you're, you're going to the vent. So these guys are going to the vent. Basically. I guess I just wait until they're out and then I close them. Right? Is that what I did? Unless I don't do that. We got Foxy. We got Freddy. We got these guys. Fake, fr fake Fredbear. Maybe I should just call, call, start calling him Fake Fredbear because he's not Fredbear. <laughs> Fredbear is big and has teeth and he's, yeah, he's massive. This is just literally repainting, just taking his spray paint and, you know, recoloring the bow tie and hat and then painting it gold. That's all it is. That is not what Fredbear looks like. Some people do that and it's like, really? <laughs> you really think that's Fredbear? I mean, you got the other, you, know, you got every other character, right? But that is not what Fredbear looks like. Have you, see, have you seen the FNAF 1 video game? That's what Fredbear looks like, you know? There have actually been some really good fan games that show you what Fredbear looks like. It's just not something I'm, 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 I'm particularly, like, you know, fond of. It. Like, you know, it's something I'm like, okay, that's not what he looks like, but, you know, whatever. I'm not, you know, saying it's a bad idea. I'm just like, okay, if you want to say that's Fredbear, you go ahead and say that's Fredbear, but I don't agree with you. <laughs> okay, so I think it, they have to be in the vent in order to actually attack them. Actually, see them then. Okay. So now. Is he, is he gone? Or she gone? Sorry, she, she gone? Uh oh. Okay. Oh, no, you're still there. Oh my god, he's still there. Ah! Almost out of power too. Another thing I don't like about fan games is power. Or it is a class of mechanic, but I don't like it, okay? I don't like it at all. Ah, uh, you're still there! Oh my god, and I'm dead. Oh dang it. <laughs> well hopefully I still survive it, right? I hope. Dang it. <laughs> this kinda sucks. I might not actually survive. Yay! <laughs> like an, I, I might not survive, but hopefully I will. But yay! Alrighty. Nice. I like this game. It's great. It's honestly great. I like it a lot. It's very well done. Just the layout of the map. It's cool. I mean, you're basically taking FNAF 1's map and, and uh, adding a little bit to it. It's more, it's more or less the same thing, but a bit different. Hello. Uh, hello. Hey. Hello. Uh, I heard you made it out on your first night, and yep. if you did, then congrats. <laughs> now, I won't be talking quite as long as last time since the animatronics tend to become more aggressive as the week progresses. Yeah. <laughs> there are some things that I forgot to mention and some things I should give you an update on. Okay. Have you checked or noticed Camp 3 where Pirate's Cove is? Well, Foxy the Pirate Fox is in there. And he's a little more unique than the other characters as he right. becomes more active when the cameras remain off enough. Now, I don't think the hiding under the desk technique will work on him. 
If he ventures far out of his cove, then try to stare at him for as long as possible, and that should make him go back into his cove, as he doesn't like being watched. I guess it creates some kind of system restart within his servos, or something? I don't know. Uh, anyways, I guess by now you've noticed those golden animatronics on their own yeah. separate stage in Cantu. Those are from the older restaurants known as Fred Bear's Family Diner. I I'm not gonna go into detail about what happened over there. But it was shut down and the animatronics were sent back here. At first the manager was reluctant to repurchase them, but we were able to convince them to bring back something special. Interestingly, the Spring Bonnie animatronic actually went missing a couple days ago and wasn't found until the week before. We found it lying around in the workroom and we assumed that somebody was in a hurry after their shift and forgot to switch the character back to animatronic mode and return it to the stage. Uh -oh. Weird, huh? Anyways, that's all I got for now. Have a good night and I'll talk to you soon. Hello. I still think it's Fredbear. That's not what Fredbear looks like. It's just a repaint. Ah, It just makes me so mad. It's like... I mean, it's got the thing we were in Ultimate Cuffs Night, which isn't really even technically canon. I don't even know. It is my least favorite fan game. Or a uh, fan of game. But, um... Yeah. He decided that Fredbear was, um... A reskinned Freddy version 1. Or for Freddy from Final 1. Which is not at all what Freddy, but what Freddy Bird looks like. That's not at all. Okay, well he's looking a bit possessed. You okay there, buddy? <laughs> okay. Uh, so I bet I can look at the lights, the hall lights. Uh oh. Okay, so everybody's getting anything. good. Everything is really, really good. The only thing I, I, I have an issue with is, 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 um, this game is Fredbear, which is, again, just taking FNF1 Freddy and then just repainting him. That's not what Fredbear is. I can't even see it that enough, but it's not what Fredbear's supposed to look like. He's supposed to be huge. Like, you take Nightmare Fredbear and that's what Fredbear's supposed to look like. You just, you, you get rid of the Nightmare and that's what it looks like, so I don't see why that I don't see how that's Fredbear. Uh oh, oh crap. Oh dear. Okay. Oh. oh god, what the hell? Oh, I have to be fast enough, that's right. Dang it. <laughs> okay, well I understand what to do. Oh, that's horrifying. <laughs> Okay, well, ugh, okay. I, I did not survive that one. Let's try again. Alright. Uh oh, okay. We're gonna go through. And the chicken, too. Okay. Alright. Uh oh, uh oh, where are you? Okay. Oh, you're there, just you there, sir. Okay, so, uh, real quick. I thought this was from the screenshot. I thought it was like a post thing. Apparently, that's just a mechanic. So, I mean, I don't know if there's actually going to be a post-line, there might be, but so far, we're, only, we're already dead we have not gotten a post night, so probably not going to get a post night. I don't think that's part of this game, but, um, yeah, my mistake. I think, I thought it was a post night, but I think, I think, I think it was just a mechanic. It's hard to tell, like, those screenshots can really be misleading. Kind of reminds me of, uh, of, uh, the whole hiding thing, kind of reminds me of Jolly, jo Jolly Bees. The original game where you hit the tables and have Okay, not good, not good. Okay. That's not good. Alright. Uh oh.
Okay. I might be too late for that one. Dang it. Oh, he's on the door. Okay, I still died because I wasn't fast enough. Dang it. Ah. Okay, let's try again. That sucks. Where did you go? Uh. Unless he's pretty Bonnie. Where did he, where did you go? Oh, there he is. There she is. Okay, never mind. Uh oh. There you are. Okay. Cool. It's interesting how Spring Grinder likes to appear both in the hallway or in, in the office and. and, uh. in the vents, which is very interesting. Okay, no. I think you. I'm not letting you do that, sorry. It's forever to actually get him to activate, though. Actually, like, make, make him move. It's not fun. Okay, nope, 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 sorry, sorry. It's gonna happen. Okay, what the hell? I'm only in that two and I'm I'm still I'm already struggling. God damn it. Nope. Ain't having it. Okay. Good. Okay, no Foxy. Foxy go back, go back, go back. Still fine. Uh -oh. Okay. Why don't I, why don't I leave the door open or the door closed? Okay. Come on, let me win for once. What the heck? I don't understand why I keep dying. I I was so fast. Gets in, let's see, gets in now. Okay. He might exactly do that. I gotta be careful. Just chilling. Come on. I can do this. Okay. Please tell me that I made it in time. I think I did it. Oh, I think I did it. Yes, I did it. Ah, finally. Yes! I did it! Ah, I finally did it in time! Yay! 
That makes me so happy. Ah, oh, he's been nasty to me. He really has been nasty. Okay, now I don't have to worry anymore. I've got it. I just gotta be super fast. And I've gotta be, I gotta be under the table before he even gets to me. I want to assume. Okay. Oh, you're still there. You're still there. <laughs> God damn it. What should you be surviving? You should very much survive. Oh yeah, see what I mean? Oh my god, yes! Finally, night two done. Took a long time. I've been recording for like almost 45 minutes. Ridiculous. No, okay, no. <laughs> no. Okay, so that does it for this episode of Five Nights at Friday's Beginnings. Wow, this game is great, but uh... Not a fan of the power, and I definitely feel like Spring Bonnie is a bit more aggressive, like, you, you basically get no time to react to him. You have to be really fast. I feel like that's, that's a bit much, but yeah, I mean, also you, the fact that you, you, you can't, like, load the next night, you just go right into it the next night, definitely feels like, you know, FNAF 1 style thing, just like, you know, classic FNAF, yeah, that always happens with power and everything like that. But in general, I like it. I like this game. It's really cool. It definitely has a FNAF 1 vibe going for because of the mechanics. I mean, FNAF 1 doesn't really have vents, but still, like, it's pretty cool. This game is great. The models are great. The map is great. The environment is great. The office is great. Uh, obviously, I'm not a fan of, of this Fred Bear that they're calling it. I'm going to keep calling it fake Fred Bear because he isn't what Fred Bear is. I know by night three, the phone guy is definitely going to be uh, naming the bear Fred Bear. Even though that's not actually what he is, because he's basically just... He's just a fan creation at this point. That's not canon Fredbear, that's ridiculous, that's stupid. A lot of people can agree on that. That's not what Fredbear is supposed to look like. If you, if you look in the... If you look at Fan 4, it's like big and it has big teeth, and, uh, and a lot of fan games actually show him exactly like that, so... Uh, but still, no. Other than that, I like this game a lot, it's very cool. One thing I definitely wish you could do is uh, sit in the hall. Like, I don't know why you can't do that, but you can, and that's like, I really wish you could do that, but at the same time, this is still a pretty cool game, and I, I like it. So far, what i played of it, I like it. Night 2 took a while, because like, I, I, you know, feel like Spring Money is a bit more aggressive, because it's hard to, like, you know, know exactly when he's going to, you know, coming into the office, because he attacks by two. Basically, it seems to be attacking two ways, either the hull or the vents, but, uh, yeah. I'm curious to see what, uh, what Freddy and Fake Fred Bears from Canada are going to be. Because I have no idea, is it going to be a thing with FNAF 1 where I have to keep watching Freddy and then he comes to my office? I don't know what's going to happen. It really depends on how things are. It might be a thing where I just I have to like hide behind the desk. That might be a thing where I have to do. I'm not sure exactly. I guess I'll have to find out. But still, I am enjoying this game for what it is and I, uh, I can't wait to play more of it. So anyway! Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Five Nights at Freddy's The Beginnings. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and click that bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. And to know when the next episode of this series goes up. And I'll be back next time with another episode. Alright, see ya. Oh, 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 oh,